This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. This just be a quick wrap up because I'm not going to drop another story till right after midnight. So this is just a quick wrap up for the day. Little baby kind of out of touch. In the midst of a lot of people just, you know, out of, out of work and, you know, a lot of things going on, you know, where people can't work. Wealth level by net worth. He posts this for some reason with no caption. It says poor is net worth between zero and five hundred thousand, middle class five hundred thousand to two million, upper middle two to four million, comfortable four to ten million, wealthy ten to thirty million, lesser rich. I mean, it's like who made this table? Like, first of all, poor is having zero to maybe fifty thousand, I would say, you know, like saved up. You know, I'm talking net worth, like everything, selling everything, your car, everything, right? I guess that would be poor. And then everything above that would be middle class up to a million dollars. Like, I think it just shows, it shows that this always happens with every artist. Once they get to a certain level of money, and this is normal as a human being, but you start to look at everything differently. But it's like it sh you start to get out of touch, and that's what stinks because I really do like Little Baby's music because it does sh feel like he's in touch with the people, but he might be getting out of that level. I think he's rich reaching a period of uh, uh, re reaching uh, a level of, uh, let's see, on his level, let's put it as wealthy. <laughs> he's reaching wealthy to lesser rich, <laughs> which is, you know, anywhere from 10 million to 80 million. I think that's where he's going. And he might be getting out of touch. Uh, next up, this is going to be random stuff. Kanye West. This is artwork from when he was 17 years old. I guess he went to an art school in Chicago. This was featured on a show called Antique Roadshow, sold to an independent dealer, but it was valued around $30,000. I don't know what it sold for, but pretty interesting. He was a good artist at 17. He went to an art school. I did not know he could paint like this. So this makes sense of him getting into fashion and doing his own designs. Because, uh, let's see. These are really good. I can't paint anywhere near anything like this. <laughs> um, little, and, oh, yeah. Going back to the little baby thing. Sorry about that. Little baby just called me poor. These are people reacting to it. Little baby ain't have to remind us how poor we are. We working on it. Uh, and then he says, uh, little baby, so you're basically saying you aren't rich. You're upper middle class. I would say he's more a level above that on his list. He's, he's probably got a good 8 to $10 million. Uh, then it says, everybody about to repost dumb wealth chart. Little Baby post it. Oh, uh, gosh. Little Baby said 500 k to $2 million is middle class. Middle of a global uh, pandemic. Mm, out of touch. I can't agree more. Pooh Shiesty. This is funny. I see a lot of... Mm, hipster interviewers interviewing guys from the street. And they're like, so, when you were in the studio with Little Dirk, did the conversation of King Von being taken out come up? It's like, of course, Pooh Shiesty was like, next question. You're talking to somebody that's from the streets, okay? You, you, you're too, you're too suburban, uh, suburban, uh, what do you call it? Like, what do you call those kids? Like, uh, retro, not even retro kids. What do they call those kids? They're just like butterflies. And, you know, the, the complex has a bunch of them and everything. It's very out of touch people interviewing. Like, it's just weird. <laughs> There's a lot of weird people involved in hip hop that just do it because it's like kind of cool for the moment. They don't have a passion for it. The only reason the only reason I got into it way back in the day is because I had a passion for it. I didn't make any money for years. <laughs> Imagine that. No money for years. Like, very little. Enough to get by. But, you know, I was doing other stuff to make money, really. You know, like, I did it because I was passionate about it. And then eventually I made money. You don't have those type of people anymore. Uh, well, very, very rarely. Kim Kardashian plans to spend Valentine's Day with her kids. They're really pushing this uh, fake separation thing going on for their... Uh, for their show. I mean, her show's about to come up. They always need something to talk about. It's always been something. She had Chris Humphreys one year, then Chloe had something one. They always have something to talk about. They're clever that way, but I wouldn't play with my uh I wouldn't play with marriage like that. Especially when you have kids. Look at Kanye's just like, really? Really? <laughs> 
Kim's like, yes. Got to keep it going. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I will check you guys on the next one. That's about it. There's nothing else going on. Um, have I had a good Friday night? Be safe. I appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys in a few hours in the new video. Smash that like button. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.